And welcome back, everyone. Welcome to From Toys to Trains. I'm Amaya. Well, after a busy, fun holiday season of things like Canadian Pacific Holiday Train, uh, drive through Christmas Lights, which are all on my channel right now. If you haven't seen them, please check them out. It was time to start getting back into the model cars, model railroad, and more trains, things like that. So this week I've been working on, um, I'll show you here on the box, I've been working on an 85 Oldsmobile 442 show car. Um, really easy car to put together so far. Um, everything has been coming along great. I've just been using stock paint, things like that. So you don't have to go out and buy something, you know, real fancy. I've just, like I said, I've been using paints that I've had around here. But let me show you so far what we've got here. Um, so far on our body right here, I've got the engine all installed. Tires are all on and everything. Underneath, I've got the uh, steel color for the um, for the exhaust pipes and everything. So that is all set, ready to go. As far as the interior, they said you could use like a burnt red or a black, but to me, I, like I said, I follow the, the instructions on how to build it, but I also like to customize them a little bit and make them a little more personal. So this time around on this car is just, first car that we're doing like this, I decided to go for a um, fire red interior with the black seats, uh, aluminum chrome on the dashboard and everything. And this has already been painted all twice. So this is all done, ready to go. Um, turned out really nice and I can't wait to get that installed into the car. Now as far as the car, the body, um, this is my next step. I have the mirrors installed. Um, everything is ready to go on this body. So I'm gonna be painting this a gloss black. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna paint the first coat. I'm gonna sand it with the highest possible grid of wet sandpaper. Spray it one more time. Clear coat it, buff it out. And hopefully by next week, um, I'll give you another update on this car, but I'm hoping by then to have the body, the chassis, all that all put together and hopefully the glass on the windows, um, you know, decals, whatever it takes, you know, or however far I get on this car. Also coming up uh, within the next week or so, I've had people who know me ask me, like, if you didn't want to like, for example, I'm just going to show you here, but like, if you didn't want to go out and buy like all these kind of paints for like six bucks a pop or whatever and all this, but you wanted to make a car, a box car look like it's been weathered and it's, you know, been, been hit, abused, scraped, uh, anything like that. Um, how would you do that without spending a lot of money? Next week, not only will I update you about the car, but I'm also going to show you the first installment of how I make my box cars look like they've been weathered and scratched and scraped and all that. And as I'm going down the line, I will show you like different techniques for all kinds of cars from everything from the normal box car to um, oil cars, uh, auto racks, all the way up to engines. And then we will be getting uh, kits in um, like of all different sceneries for HO, car, HO, O gauge, whatever we can. And I'm going to show you also how to do uh, weathering on the buildings. So it doesn't all look like it was just, you know, out of the box. But everything that we start with will be out of the box. Um, I'm just going to end up showing you, like I say, how to make it look like it's weathered. So that's about all for this week. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel because, like I say, we've got a lot more coming. Um, a lot more in terms of models, more uh, car wash videos. I know everybody out there has been um, watching those. Uh, train videos and some other fun stuff right now that I'm 
kind of like trying to line up for the summer months. So make sure, you, like I say, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check back here every Monday about this time. And we will see you next week. Again, I'm Maya. Thanks for watching my channel. I'll see you then. Have a good one, everyone.